It was nice. You like it? It trips me out every time. What? We just put on these new headphones on these new mic, not new headphones, new microphone. Yeah. Because I'm like, man, this sounds so much crispier. It does. And I think it deletes out all of that background noise. Because I don't hear nothing in the background. No. Just pureness. Let's do the damn thing. Guys, welcome back, everybody, to another episode of La Platica. And it makes me so good to say this, but I am your host, Sebastian Robles. You can find me on Instagram at iSebas. And the other host. <laughs> I was waiting. Not was waiting. the co-host. <laughs> the other host that's on La Platica. You might know him as Josh Leva. Josh Leva. You can find me on Instagram at the Josh Leva. The. We actually had somebody call us out on this whole co-host hosting. Yes. And Seba sent it to me and he was like, I don't care if co-host is the right pronunciation or the right, my bad, the right terminology here. I'm calling you the host. You are the host, bro. Like if 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 if, if somebody asks you, yeah, hey, you you're on La Platica. Who me? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's me. You're not gonna say yeah, I'm the co-host. No, yeah, I'm, I'm the host. <laughs> I'm the co-host. No, <laughs> you're yeah, the I'm host. Say, I'm the host. Yeah, I'm the host. But I got another host. Yeah. And you might have heard of him. Everybody heard of him. His Ooh. name is Sebastian or I Sebastian. That is me. <laughs> <laughs> that's him. That, that is, is me. me. <laughs> uh, how are you, bro? I'm good, man. I'm uh, good. How was everybody's like reaction to, to, to you being the, oh, the host? Oh, gosh. The love was unreal. It was slightly overwhelming. I, I felt the love immediately. Immediately. Yeah. yeah I feel like um, we shot the podcast uh, two weeks ago, right? On a Wednesday. Yeah. You were so excited about it. Mm -hmm. I was so excited about it. That same night, didn't you go home and edit that podcast? Or was it the morning... The next morning, like at 4 a.m., you yeah. had posted something like, yeah. I'm up, edited the podcast, I'm on my way to the gym, and it was like 6 a.m. You sent me over the podcast, and we uh, we started cutting up like the clips and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And I think we got so excited about this podcast coming yeah. out, you know, that we put out all, all the clips before the even podcast came out. So once, once Monday hit and we dropped it, we had no... No, no new clips to promote the podcast. We're like, I think we just gave away our whole podcast. We gave away the whole podcast. <laughs> yeah, but even like till this day right now, like I get tagged like crazy, like, uh, and just mentioning us and saying that like, we love you guys. Yeah. And I love Josh and things like that. But guys, thank you so much. Like first episode back, like yep. being with Josh and like all the love that you guys um, gave us. Like, here's another virtual hug. We love you guys and keep mentioning us we love love like, it there's so many mentions that that i actually love to see that i screenshot them and i'll send them yeah, to Josh, <laughs> yeah same you know? same and then even uh we had people calling us out like have you guys filmed it's thursday we need to see we need to know if you guys filmed yeah because i totally forgot yeah that we told them that day when we were filming yeah. we're like yo we're filming every single day mm -hmm. but Everybody back at home. Yeah. Just remind us. Yeah, just, just in case. Little, just a little reminder. Just in case. Yeah. You know, it doesn't happen. Slips our minds. Which it won't. It won't. Because what happens if we don't film? I die. And we don't want that. You don't want me to die. I don't want you to die. You're too young. I'm too young. I don't want to die, die too young. young. Um, That was Post Malone. Yeah. One of his first like songs, bro. Love that. Love that, bro. He I don't want to die too young. young. I don't want to die too young. I don't think so that's I, a melody. No. Huh? <laughs> that's, not, that's a different song. Damn, bro. I think I'm going to edit that out. <laughs> I sounded really bad. Sorry, guys. I probably woke up your baby. <laughs> They're like, turn it on the volume. <laughs> okay. okay. Let's wait for this. Or you get to like, the, you ever do the two, uh, the 10 second thing on uh, on YouTube? Like oh, you're yeah. trying to skip through. Yeah. I've yeah. timed that thing perfectly, man. I got it down. Yeah. But honestly, like, you being on it, I've been so excited to like do this and yeah. do that and yeah. post and we created a TikTok. It's, yeah. it's, it's doing really well. Bro, we actually kind of had a viral TikTok <laughs> on, on the lowest of lows, but it's a good amount, right? I think we're close to maybe, I want to say 200K. Yes. Likes. Oh, on that video. Yeah. 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 Of course. Yeah. 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 200,000 views for, on that video. Yeah. We had overall, there's probably like 300,000 views yeah. overall on all the clips. Yeah. 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 But it's cool because we just started the the, the TikTok. We're TikTok. Famous. So like for us, that's kind of like, that's dope. That's a big deal. Yeah. <laughs> we were so excited yeah. about that. I probably refreshed the TikTok every hour. I was like, man, it's, it's growing. Even though you do get like billions of views on your own channel. Yeah, a couple billion. Yeah, yeah. You know, you no know, exaggeration, but Josh like a, has, a few billion. You know, really good transition. <laughs> so there's a couple billion in there. <laughs> yeah, so it's a billion with a B. Uh, real quick, congratulations to Northern California. You guys just won the... The wow. NBA, NBA championship. championship. Yep. Uh, Golden State Warriors. Woo! 
Warriors. Uh, uh, I mean, that's Cali right there, baby. That is Cali. Cali representing. Cali, representing. Cali stand up. Uh, I. <laughs> <laughs> the look into the camera. Cali stand up. Uh, wanted to see a game seven. I know everybody I know. does though, yeah, but I it's I like it so bad. I thought it was gonna happen. I really, really thought it was gonna happen. Yeah, but if you're uh, a Warriors fan, you He's, want it now. Yeah. It it always well. You know what? Sorry to interrupt you. Yeah. But you know what? They got it in Boston. You always want them to get it like. At yeah, that's home. you literally took the words yeah. out of my mouth. Yeah, I was gonna say like it's like a bittersweet moment, right? Yeah. Because obviously they won. I mean, it's a, it's more sweet than bitter, but like they don't get a win at home, and yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. that energy from the stadium. I'm sure like their home, their fans, everything is probably like mad loves. I'm getting a call right now. I'm gonna end this. It's not important. This is more important than anything in the world right now. <laughs> you or can he, wait. Or he will die. <laughs> I'm uh, busy. I'm a busy bee. What about stingy, like, bitch. what about like you just as an individual person, like in your mind, mm -hmm. knowing that you have La Platica on your back now? How does that make you feel? Uh, one word comes to mind. What? And that word is invincible. <laughs> Who's going to stop me? Who's going to stop us? Not even, not <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just randomly text Seb. I'll that like, Who's gonna stop us, bro? Nobody. This is the number one Latino podcast in the world. We, Who's gonna stop us? Nobody. Bro? Nobody. It's the number one pod Latino podcast in the world. Yeah. Um, we didn't say that. It was on Twitter. Yeah, somebody tweeted that. Besides me. I, I Googled it. It was you. <laughs> I, I Googled it. And if you guys don't believe me at home, yeah. DM me and say, hey, send me that Google send screenshot. Send me the Google search. I'll send it to you. Yeah, we got it. Uh, it, it's on there. Hey, the proof is in the pudding. I mean, somebody has to be the best Latino podcast. And it might as well be us. It might as well. Lately, I feel like I've been I, I've been I've been swayed more towards TikTok lately. Have you yeah. felt like that? Have you are you more Instagram or are you more TikTok right now? I think at the moment I'm a little I'm I'm kind of both. Yeah, you're 50-50? Yeah, I'm I'm kind of both, but like um on TikTok, I always see kind of like more real shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know what I mean? It's like, less polished. Whether it's like news, yeah. whether it's just like <laughs> regular random stuff. Yeah, but like, yeah. I noticed that, you know, like I feel like Instagram is kind of like just posters. Yeah. Like yeah. just poster boy shit. Yeah. Which yeah. is cool. Yeah. Um, But TikTok, I don't know. I, I guess maybe like 70. I think I'm spending more time on TikTok, but I'm on there just more for like entertainment purposes, right? Because you can just get mindlessly, like you can, be, you can get mindless scrolling, right? You just fucking... Zone out. Yeah. But like Instagram, I love it because I love to keep up with like my friends. And it's just, it, it seems to be a little bit more intimate. Yeah. Right. Because like I get to see people's stories and stuff like that. So um, I'm pretty 50 50 too. Now that I think about it, I'm actually pretty 50 50. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I, I think I just say that because like I am on Instagram posting and then yeah. I am on TikTok Watching. posting what more like more, La more, more, stuff yeah. but like I feel like you just get dragged into TikTok like yeah. just like watching videos all day because they're all good like yeah. literally I watch every video there's this whole thing of like people saying like oh Instagram is over it's all about like TikTok nah, right? I don't right? think so like yeah TikTok is a new wave which I do believe yes, yes, yes. but I will say this that recently Instagram was kind of having like a glitch where like the stories kind of kept repeating oh, itself yeah, yeah, yeah. and I was frustrated by yeah. it so I was like Instagram is not dead because this is bothering me and I need this to be over so I can just enjoy watching my stories that's what I'm saying and then I updated my app and then I just I felt <laughs> this is kind of lame man I felt like like grateful I was like oh wow I get it yeah this is how it's supposed to be <laughs> everything's back to normal everything's back to normal man. my life my life is good my life is good my life really is like a movie <laughs> really good let's do that again my life is good really, really good. good oh you have full character your eyes gotta got really large really good <laughs> do you know that karen hates nacho libre excuse me Come again? Get out! <laughs> wow. She doesn't, uh, she doesn't hate you. it. She's, but like, like, she's like, I don't get it. I don't this, get it. She gets it. She just doesn't like, she's not really into that humor. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, th that doesn't surprise me too much. I'm yeah, not saying yeah. with her. I just, I can see how people are yeah. not like super fond of it. You know what I mean? I uh, love it. <laughs> A lot. Nacho is my hero. Uh, I love that movie, dude. I love, dude, love Jack that movie. Jack Black killed He's brilliant. It. He's, he's brilliant. brilliant. And yeah. he did it so well. He, I, he, I, he nailed it, man. He nailed I, it. And he's not even like Latino at no, all. No, at all. But that's, that's what I'm saying. He nailed it. Like, yeah, yeah. You don't just do that. And yeah. then like people are going to give you props after. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like I feel like if you're going to portray that mm -hmm. and like act that out, um, you got to kind of make fun of it. Yeah. And that's what he did. Yeah. And he did a brilliant job and it was hilarious. It was bro. so good, man. It's so good. It's such a great movie. I remember there, there was like a period, it was like one year, I think it was like 2016 or something like that. I probably watched that movie like eight times. 
one year. I just, I just, it just made me feel good. Just, it just made me feel like, bro, when he finally goes and gets the the magical eagle egg. Oh yeah, <laughs> and then he dives into the water and he farts. <laughs> yeah. No, he farts yeah. first and dives. Yeah. Like just little shit like that. It was just like hilarious. Comment down below if you're a Nacho Libre fan, because I am. I am too. <laughs> <laughs> me, I am too. <laughs> it, like it, I, I think one of the funniest parts was like when they asked the the nun, uh, "What's your favorite color?" Yeah, <laughs> and she's like light tan <laughs> yeah light tan like, everything you like i like them too <laughs> or when she invites them over when you can't stop talking yeah, about it light tan. um guys by the way i don't really wear prescription eye eyeglasses is there a reason why you're wearing them more right now i have to because i uh i have lasik uh consultation tomorrow and you're scared i don't know if scared's the word <laughs> i'm scared <laughs> i'm terrified so uh, i haven't hold on i haven't yeah, told please, I, please. I haven't told any anybody about it other yeah. than like my mom and maybe like uh a good friend or two yeah um so my birthday was just um uh, may 29th thank you thank you <laughs> thank you happy birthday yeah Bo, thank you thank you guys you. thanks i appreciate that um 21 right 21 21 <laughs> 21 <laughs> okay <laughs> uh so it was just my birthday. Yeah. Guys, stop. Happy birthday, dude. Thanks, man. Have Th I said happy birthday to you yet? Happy birthday, Sebas. It was a lot happy of this. Happy birthday, Sebas. Hey, hey, hey. It was just my birthday. Okay. And you know, Karen, you know, she always goes all out. Per use. And she gifted me LASIK surgery. That is an incredible birthday. Bro, <laughs> I was like, she goes, here you go. She made me like open everything, like kind of like in order. Like she got me this and that and this, and then she got me this and like some necklaces that were sick. And oh uh, yeah, those are the ones you were wearing to that uh, to the event. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The chain with the yes, it's hard. Yeah, bro. you know the vibes. Yeah, I was like, what you get it, drill? Like, My girl got it for me. I said, why are we talking like that? Stupid drippy. Stupid drippy. And then she goes, open this one. And I opened it, it was a bunch of eyes everywhere, like little toy eyes. And like, they're like, like, they're like squishy. I see what she did. Yeah. And then there was a card with like a dog, I think. And it had like big eyeglasses on it or sunglasses, uh, seeing glasses. Uh huh. And um, I was like, what's this? What she got for me? Here go. I opened the card. Uh huh. And it basically said, you're getting LASIK surgery. Oh. <laughs> and then with me, I'm like, first of all, I've never had surgery in my life. Yeah, n neither have I. So I'm like, what the fuck? I was kind of shocked. Yeah. You know, like, I'm not going to cr like cry or anything like that, you know, but I was like, oh my God, this is crazy. I was blind, but now I can see. I'm going to see. <laughs> and I want to win. And I want to win <laughs> when I see. <laughs> so I'm getting LASIK. Dude, that, that's, my first of all, that's an incredible gift. It's an incredible gift. And Karen, if you're watching this, I love you. Oh my God. That was so thoughtful. Karen, if you're watching this, I see you, girl. Right, I see you. You right? know what I'm saying? I see you. Now she's she's gonna watch this yeah. like immediately right now. Uh huh. Because I'm edited the clip perfectly. Look, babe, I know you're watching. Listen to Josh right now. Go, Josh. Karen, I see you. You see us, and we see you, and see see us is gonna be seeing sooner or later. <laughs> well, now I'm gonna be see bass because he got see. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I see bass. You change your whole, <laughs> like your whole profile. Oh my god! Everything, I see bass. I see bass. That's what I'm saying, bro. And we're gonna do a whole remarketing scheme as soon as you can see. I see bass. I mm -hmm. see. Uh huh. Bass. Bass mejor. What the fuck? I see it's bass like, mejor. <laughs> it's like meant to be. Yeah, bro. I think it was. Uh, it was destined. Anyways. <laughs> Um, so turns out, I guess, I don't know if it's just this doc, uh, this optometrist or, or um, I'm pretty sure it's everywhere like that, but I had actually my appointment today to get a consultation and turns out you can't wear, I wear contacts by the way, same dailies, like same. I wake up, put some on, by the time I go to sleep, boink. same. Um, I'll be throwing them everywhere too. I'm not going to lie. Bro, sometimes I get too lazy to go to the bathroom or throw them away because then I flush them down the toilet oh I do that too and sometimes they get stuck <laughs> <laughs> they just piss on them <laughs> you're disgusting bro <laughs> well I didn't say I did that okay <laughs> you do that no my my uh I guess my dirty little secret is uh I put them like behind my bed 
That's sick, bro. That's sick, bro. Because I have like a little slot. It's so bad. I can't believe I just admitted that. Don't put that in the video. Because <laughs> it's going to be like late. I'm like, oh, shoot. I haven't taken off my yeah. contacts. So I was like. Oh, don't you have like a nightstand like chan- or something? Yeah. Why don't but, you put them on that? I guess I could. But it's so much cooler. <laughs> it's not, though. It's really not. It's disgusting. It's more gross. And, and with the dailies, well, with contacts, like yeah. if you don't wear them for like a good 10 to 30 seconds, they yeah. start to get really hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so. Have you ever slept with them? Yeah, and I don't like it because you wake up with your eyes all red and shit. Super dry and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sometimes if I like stay at my mom's or something like that, and I don't like I forgot to bring an extra pair, I'll just sleep with them because I won't be able to drive. I don't have them. I'm not my vision's not that bad, but it we makes, have the same vision. I think we yeah, talked about it. It makes a difference. Yeah, it makes a difference. So I called and I was like, "Hey, um, I heard that you can't wear. Oh, by the way, I guess you can't wear uh, contacts." Um, be- How'd you know this? How, did you Google it? Because Karen, I think, kind of mentioned it to me, and like I'm stupid and I forget to listen. And she goes, hey, just make sure you, if you wear monthlies, you can't wear them for so many days. If you wear dailies, you can't wear them for X amount of days. And I was like, okay, cool. I'll just, you know, I'll do like one day. Yeah. You know, but you'll have to do two. And I was like, is it a big deal? Let me call him. So I call him up. Hey, my name is Sebastian Robles. I have an appointment at 2.30. Uh, what a for, professional for, for, voice you have. For Thursday. Mm-hmm. And um, I was just wondering if, um, what's the whole like rule on, um, the contact situation well we're gonna need you to make sure you don't wear contacts for the next two days before you come into your consultation so i said oh i was like i i actually have them on as we speak well take them off dumbass (laughs) take your contacts off you dumbass (laughs) and she was like put them behind your bed you idiot (laughs) and she was like yeah well we can't do the consultation then because it's just not gonna work because i guess something about your eye that when you wear contacts nebula it needs to be like a certain dilated it just fucks with it something like that yeah your cornelius maximus or something uh like that i have no idea so Mm -hmm. i said i do i get it i said so so what do i do and she goes well we're gonna have to reschedule i was like fuck so we reschedule for tomorrow Oh, okay, so you're good. But so now you just can't wear your contacts for two days. Hence why I'm wearing the glasses. The glasses. Yeah. The glasses make you look sophisticated. Thank you. Also, I was scheduled to get LASIK, I want to say four or five years ago. I had a friend. I had the appointment. I told my friend, I got an appointment to get LASIK. You see me? He said, good luck with that. My mom got LASIK. And now she permanently has to take medication for the rest of her life. Or she goes blind. Okay, so and I said, okay, hold on. That's I, I feel bad for her, but yeah. why the f- why would you tell me that right now? I'm getting my appointment tomorrow. Yeah, that's probably not a good idea, huh? We'll I probably be, shouldn't tell you that. We'll be right back. You gonna cancel? You gonna cancel your appointment? We'll be right back. <laughs> you want me to call him for you? <laughs> I had to talk to Josh to see if that tr- that story was actually true. Can Which I tell you it, something? I don't really know. I, <laughs> this was a long time ago. He did say something like that. I, that's I, don't, I don't want people to be like, that's not true. That's not going to happen. It could happen. That's the thing, though. I've never heard it happen like that. I hope, yeah. Everything that I hear is like... Mm-hmm. Great. It's a, it's a great thing. story. Like, oh my God, you're going to do it. Like, life-changing. Yeah. But, okay, so tomorrow I have my consultation. I had to reschedule because I was wearing contacts and the lady said no because now we're just going to... It's just not going to be like perfect anymore. So I was like, okay, I need it perfect because this is my eyesight. Yeah, I need to be able to see. Girl. I need to be able to eye see bass. Yeah. So it's part of the brand. So I'm going tomorrow. I'm super excited. Uh, my friend Tyler, aka Mr. Wiggles, mm-hmm. um, he told me, he goes, bro, this is like game changing, changed my life. Like, Damn. no contacts anymore. Like, yeah, I just wake see up and perfectly, see. wake up and see. Like, if God turned on the lights. Wow. Now, I'm not as blind as others. Yeah. But like I can't see far, and it bothers me, bro. Yeah. It bothers me. Yeah, I, I, putting on contacts is yeah. annoying. and I'm very active. Super active. I gotta see. Yeah. Um. Being on cameras and things like that, I gotta see everything. Like mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. just everything, just life, just life, life, life. I'm I'm first baseman now on you, a softball team. You gotta be able to see the ball. Are you serious? I gotta yeah. see the ball. <laughs> I was thinking about a funny story where you were talking about. Uh, you like I was pl- I'm playing uh, softball now, the great American sport of baseball, except with a softer ball. <laughs> you said something like that. That had me like dying, bro. I was like, that's hilarious. You laugh at my story. I was like, my my host, my other host besides me, because I'm the host. He the host too. He's funny. That's one funny motherfucker. <laughs> 
I, I sometimes I'm funny. Sometimes you funny. Sometimes people go to my girl and be like, "How can you, how can you like <laughs> be with Sebas and not just piss your pants all day?" Yeah. And my girls are like, "He's funny." <laughs> <laughs> Nah, I'd be making her laugh. Yeah, I bet. I bet you'd be making her laugh. I just feel laugh. like I'm just the type of person that I just like, I need to me- be making jokes about everything. You're a silly goose, dude. I am. Anybody ever tell goose. you that? You're a silly goose? Uh, yeah. I That's what I have you on my phone, silly goose. <laughs> <laughs> so I got my LASIK appointment coming up cool. and I'm super excited, but I was telling you that the homie, Mr. Wiggles, he told me, he goes, bro, it's, it's just kind of trippy because each eye is about like two to five minutes. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. But he said that like, there's like a laser that they like... So first of all, I, I guess they tell you to if you want a Xanax or not, and you I don't pop it. I don't. E- I don't even take Tylenol, bro. What? Yeah, I'm not really the type of person that like takes medicine. Yeah. Like if I'm sick, I just drink water, I hydrate, Some and I'll salute. rest. Yeah. Some salute. Yeah. Salute is probably like the hardcore shit that I take. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> like you can ask my girl, you can ask my family. I don't take any type of like man-made pills. Wow. Nothing like that. I didn't yeah. know that. I didn't know that. Mm-mm. Yeah, I take Tylenol. <laughs> I took Tylenol. I've taken Tylenol. The gummy kind, though. The Only gum, the gummy kind. Got it. Yeah. Like, I take vitamins. Yeah. And, you know, I'll shove fatty aminos, like omega uh, pills and stuff like yeah. that, like for nutrition. Um, but I don't do any of that. So they're like, do you want to take Xanax? I'm like, why do they want to give you Xanax? He goes, well, because a lot Some of people, people are very nervous. Freaking out. And I guess Xanax chills you out. And I guess you got, I guess they lay you down and then you, you, you look straight into like a dot, I guess. And that's where you have to be like looking and then they start fucking they they numb your eye and they start lasering like a, a layer out of your eye oh my god and he said when they they lasered his eye he, he it just like turned black oh hell no and i was like for like a second it like turned black and then they like put something else in there and then they i guess is seal it back up and then you can see and then he goes yeah for like a day or two like it just feels like there's something in your eye and then after that your eyesight gets gradually better and better and better and until you're it's fucking gucci and you can see through walls and shit probably because i'm trying to be an x-man wow so i I, he told me that and i was like okay cool but like that part where like you just black out like he just kind of passed over it real quick you're like (laughs) it's like yeah it's really easy i mean you see black for a little bit bit, bit, bit." and i'm just like fuck so i'm i'm kind of nervous You'll be fine, bro. Yeah, yeah. Just pop a Zan. But that's thing like that. This is gonna be pop like a Zan. My... So you can say I'll pop a Zan. I might. You might. But I kind of want to go through it without I it. I peace. <laughs> I kind of want to go through it without it. Yeah. So I can say that I did it without it. Because, bro, the Zan is not gonna take away the pain, right? It's just well, gonna help you mellow out and just be a little more calm going into the procedure. It's painless. You fine, bro. Don't do no Zan. You don't need to do no Zan. We don't do no drugs in La Platica. If everything goes well, would you do it? Would you consider doing LASIK? Yeah, yes, I would. You actually inspired me and motivated me to reconsider it again because I was out, bro. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to do the contact contacts thing. I'm fine with this. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And then I just, as I've gotten like, as I'm getting older and I have to put contacts on to start my day because I need to put my contacts on to start my day. I don't feel like I've started my day till my eyes are, my eyes are in, you know? Um, and I'm like, man, I am I gonna be doing this for the rest of my life? Popping yeah. in context, daily? Yeah, yeah. I need to be able to get up and go. I gotta see. I gotta see. A hundred percent. So I'm actually excited. Comment down below if you've gotten LASIK surgery. Let me know. Um, if pop, you have horrifying stories, don't, don't let me know. Don't, don't yeah. tell us because honestly, I'm a chicken, dude. I'm a chicken, dude. I I've never gone surgery. Yeah, I've never gone surgery. I've never broken a bone. Have you broken a bone? No. <laughs> Why did you look at me like you have? <laughs> no, never. Never, bro. No? Mm-mm. I got your heart broken? Once. Once? What's your name? Can you say it? No. <laughs> <laughs> say it! Just, but, don't say it. Don't say it. No, I'm not going to say it. But, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> oh, I love that. I'm not going to say it. And yeah. honestly, I didn't even get it my heart broken because I was a fucking kid. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, Why are you crying? <laughs> <laughs> but yes, bro, LASIK surgery, bro, it's going down. I'm I'm hyped for you, bro, and I, I'm excited for you to tell me how it went. I'm excited for you to like recap on this, um, and then if you tell me it's a go, then I'm a go. Hey, you're, you're gonna do it? Yeah, 100. Uh, percent Right now, I'm probably like at 65 percent that I do it. You could be that person that takes me to that 80 percent. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, and then if you're like constantly gassing it up. 
90 percent. got it you see what i'm saying yeah i'm gonna do it eventually bro i'm gonna be real too deep down inside yeah. i'm gonna let heart. you know tomorrow it's actually in orange county so we're gonna spend the whole day in orange county damn cool um it's gonna be exciting let me know i'm gonna ask a lot of questions shit ask them like so many questions yeah i also heard that sometimes you're not even um they won't even do it on you because either you, you have don't stigmatism qualify. you don't qualify your your eyesight's not as bad mm. supposedly the older you get um like if you have a problem, you can't see far like me, right? Can't see far. The older you get, you'll start seeing far, farther, bet, farther, better. Did you know that? The older you get, you start seeing farther, better, just naturally. Is that mm -hmm. what you're saying? Naturally. <clears throat> but your your uh, but your seeing far sight, closer, being seen closer, gets yeah. a little worse. You know how it's like nearsighted and far nearsighted and farsighted. Farsighted. <laughs> yeah. Why is it farsighted, dude? Because that's what I am. I'm farsighted, dude. That's why I can't get it, dude. They're like, hey, dude, you're farsighted. Yeah. I said, really? Um why is it complicated they say nearsighted is you can't see far yeah and if you're far said you can't, can't see, see near why don't y'all figure that out english you know what i'm saying well i think you're, I, I think you're you're thinking too much about it okay okay so if you're nearsighted yeah what does that mean that you can't see far yeah because you're nearsighted yeah you have sights for the near but tell me what i can't not tell me what i can i know what i can i know what i can so no. what do you think we should call it i think it should be the opposite like oh i'm farsighted <laughs> Like, I can't see far, but it shouldn't be sighted. I get it. Now I get it. Now it's all starting to click. Yeah. <laughs> but it should be like, I can't, you know what I mean? Like, not like, it should, it should be, it should be. They should just tell you like. It you, should be far sighted, bro. That should be the correct. They should just though. tell you, you can see far. Yeah. Yeah. I just, it always confused me. And you know what? Every time I talk to somebody, they always say that they're like, I am, I am nearsighted because I can't see like the future. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like. If you're nearsighted, you can see like right here. Yeah. You yeah. can see near. Dude, my nearsightedness is impeccable. I yeah. could, I could. I could read a crumb. Yeah, you and billions of other people. Yeah, I'm not special. Can I ask you a question? No. <laughs> <laughs> you knew we were filming today, right? Yeah. Um, did you pick out your outfit and was like, this is what I'm going to wear for the platica? Not really. Oh, you don't like... No, I just like... I don't know if you know. Bro, I can't I, see. I, 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 I pick out my clothes blindly. I need some LASIK, bro. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, where are you going with this? I was just saying that you look kind of fly right now. I thought you were about to insult me. <laughs> Because <laughs> you know what? I was ready to insult you. I was over here thinking like, uh -huh, let me see. Mm-hmm. 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 I was like, look at you. I was about to say, with the your... camel pants, with the shattered backboards, Shoot. with the salute shirt. I, got see the, I see the little chain. Shoot. You know what's so I funny? I see the about? clay in the hair. Hey, I, I did my hair a little different. Uh, when I was on my way over here, I saw the story that you I saw posted. The, I saw the jewelry that I've never seen before. Uh -huh. Now I, it's on. Uh, I was watching your stories. <laughs> and... Uh, and I was fixing my pinky ring and I noticed that you were wearing that shirt and I felt underdressed. I was like, man, look at him. He's still looking so fly. Like a, yeah. like a, like, it's like a tribal cute you know, ass we, son yeah, of a bitch. We're, we're trying. Uh, so, so sometimes I, I, I look back on some podcasts and I'm just like, I need to like dress a little better. Bro, let's, let's be the flyest Latino podcast on the planet too. The flyest number one. Yeah. The flyest top, number one. Top rated. Yeah. Rated R. So I just want to say, Good, good, good outfit pick. You look very comfortable. <laughs> hey, like swaggy and drippy. Same, bro. I was gonna say we we like we got it going on right now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I just earlier, feel like I was about to say you're gonna go to your hat thing. Huh? Yeah, I, dude. I we're don't gonna think... get really like, like like we're gonna fill each other's sandwiches. I just feel like I I thought it was a good idea wearing a hat, but when you wear a hat and then there's lights, I feel like I get a little dark. No, but we got lights like, now, bro. Shadowy. Yeah, we do. Yeah, guys, back at home. Doesn't he look really crispy right now? That's that because there's a light on his ass. Yeah, yeah. There's a light on me. There's a light on his <laughs> ass. <laughs> the passion. Let me say it again. One more time, hey guys. Doesn't he look really crispy? Because there's a a light on his ass. <laughs> we need to make that an official sound. There's a light on his ass. That's gonna be a. There's banger. a light on his ass. We have brand new, brand new arms. These new. Yeah. <laughs> They're new. Brand new mics. This new? These are new. I, I wonder if they can tell the difference in the crispiness of our audio. I think people who listen to us on Spotify, which, by the way, I saw the stats that you sent over. Majority of you guys are listening to the whole thing, which is incredible. Thank you guys so much for yeah. tuning in and staying with us uh, for the longevity of the podcast. Yeah. But I wonder if they can tell. Like, I'm the, I wonder if they're like, wow, they sound like crispy. They're some bacon crispy naters. Does it sound crispier? I don't know. What's like you think crispy? Do you think bacon? When, when I, I when I say crispy, what do you think? Chicharrones. Oh yeah. Well, those are crispier than yeah, bacon. Now you're right. Yeah, my brain just goes bacon, and I don't even like bacon. Bacon, 
crispy i like bacon i just i don't, I don't like it. actually i don't really like crispy bacon mm. that's not my thing mm -hmm. i like it when it's kind of like crudo, little, little floppy. like like little floppy and wow. more raw i like that kind of bacon Damn, raw yeah you like it raw not like that <laughs> like how my bacon yeah oh okay <laughs> you're sick <laughs> a little sick bro I put my contacts in the back of my bed. I don't give a fuck. I'm a sick mofo, dog. You're going to learn that about me. Bye. <laughs> He's all scared. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways. <laughs> Mr. Contact Boy. That's disgusting, by the way. Hey, we gotta you're the one who pees on your, on your contact. You don't call me gross. You over here doing like a like a like a Miss Amol like a like what's it called like a little dartboard. First of all, of I said that because you do that. I, I don't never do that. that. I never do that. I throw mine in the trash. No, you don't. I'm call Karen right now. Guarantee you, she's telling me all your dirty secrets. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> don't. Who broke your heart then? <laughs> she don't give a fuck, and she she'll will. Tell you, she'll expose you quick with it, bro. One hundred percent. Quick with it, bro. Um, I was scared. Can I say? Can I tell you something real quick before? Because I, yeah, I, I know you don't want to talk about this, and I get it. Because you know what I'm saying. Like you're in a relationship, and it's disrespectful to talk about people's past. I get it. I, I, I'm actually a big believer in that. I don't want to hear about your past, all that stuff, right? But where are we going? <laughs> where are we going with this? We're going with this. I want to tell you about the, the time this girl in fourth grade broke my heart and she broke up with me on the phone and she had all her friends listening in and I literally was in my- What a loser. Yeah, I know, bro. And I was literally in my bathroom and she told me, she's like, I don't want to do this anymore. You're not even that cute, whatever. However, she wow. broke my heart. And I literally dropped to my knees and cried. And I was really- uh, why, why, why would she And it do? changed me as a man. Why would she do that? I don't know, man. I don't know. I actually know her name, and I was about to say her. I know her full name. Was this in Cerritos? Nah, bro. This was uh, this was uh, somewhere else, another planet. Why do you say this is the like that? Hmm. This is the. This, this is the. This is the what? This is the. What did I say? You said it like that. This is the what? This is the. I don't know, bro. You think I listen to myself talk? <laughs> I'm, I do though. I'm listening to you. This is so. the what? You said this is the. That's what you said right now. I don't know, bro. Running back. I don't remember. Josh closed all three activity rings. I stay clone. You, you know what's funny, bro? I have my um, calories burn at a thousand. You only have yours like at six something. You weak sauce. Eh, it's just you just want to close your rings and feel good about yourself. You don't want to earn it. Called you you didn't burn a thousand calories today. Bullshit. Check the watch. Check the app. Uh, your watch probably uh, uh, Apple Rocks. Series Two. It's a new one, dog. This shit probably ain't calibrated. Super calibrated. I doubt it. Who put you on that Jubilee wristband? Me. Bullshit. Then who? Me. Who's you? I sent you the Amazon link. Yeah, you did. That was that was actually really appreciated. The one that was not affiliated. Yeah, and you should have sent me the affiliated one because I bought five of them. <laughs> Just kidding. No, I bought one, but I actually bought a gold one too. I don't really like the gold one. This one's dope. Hey, one's chill dope. out. Oh, that's the one I don't like. <laughs> no, mine's different. Mine's like this, but gold. That 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 one's actually pretty cool. Like if I had that one, I'd I'd, I'd never take it off. Oh, you don't have this one. Don't have that one. But I'm gonna get it. You know what? I used to be so against the Apple Watch until I started wearing it. And I'm just like, I love the Apple Watch. It really represents somebody. Mm -hmm. Like if somebody wears an Apple Watch, you, I just like know that like you're a good, you're a good person. Really? Yeah. Like you're 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 simple. You're, yeah. Like and you're techie. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You think so? That's all. That, yeah. And, and then another thing is like the way that you actually have your face. Uh huh. Is another oh, thing. Oh, it's very telling. It's very telling. Like, how you are. what does my face tell you? Hmm. Uh well the uh, it's a it's a rainbow so I yes would it's say like it's like that, pride colors yeah yes. that you you're very proud that you're a proud person yes you're I very am. proud let's see yours mine is athletic bound I got a text message I'm really popular let uh, me see you see that athlete mine says I'm athletic yeah but it also says like I hope somebody sees my Apple Watch so Why? they can see how less athletic I am yeah man so what mine's an analog dude. Mine, mine has multiple features. I'm a multitasker. I'm a businessman. I'm a CEO. I need to know what's happening. I need to know what time it is, where I'm at, and other stuff that's happening. Put your pinky down. What pinky ring? <laughs> what pinky ring? <laughs> that's a nice pinky ring. <laughs> <laughs> Want to hear a scary story? Yeah. <laughs> and I love that transition. Bro, I heard I heard this scary story. You ready? Um, you didn't hear about it? I mean, I don't even know where you're going with this, bro. No, but you didn't hear about that scary story that everybody's talking about? Recently? Yeah, this girl went missing, bro. Uh-huh. So it was a rainy day. Who knows where? I don't know. Um, and um, raining, bro. Raining, raining. She about to go to bed. It was probably like 1 a.m., 2 a.m., I'm assuming. Probably scrolling through TikTok or listening to La Platica. Yeah, yeah, maybe. 
but you know when it's like 2 a.m and it's like really dark it the world kind of seems blue or purple and empty and empty yeah you can hear everything she probably had carpet because you can probably hear the Ooh, the cracks yeah so she's in a room mm-hmm. and it's raining pouring bro pouring almost to the point where it's like hailing whoa yeah you know what hailing is right yeah it's like when you pray to that's no 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 hailing gotcha gotcha like ice got it like the rocks were you being serious right now you're ruining my scary story <laughs> i want to hear it i want to hear it so in her room okay she has a floor to ceiling window floor to ceiling floor to to ceiling ceiling gotcha window okay so it's big ass window damn um and it's raining and and there's nobody home and she's looking outside and she's like i need to get some lasik you're ruining the story (laughs) my my bad my bad my bad my bad (laughs) um she's looking and she sees somebody she's like yo who is that like that's weird big guy trench coat probably look like the undertaker whoa and she goes who is that who is that and he just keeps getting closer and like walking close were you there no this is i just heard this story are you getting scared or not yet? Not yet, bro. At all? A little bit. Okay, that's why I'm trying to cover it up with humor. Pretend you're this chick. <laughs> I bet. He keeps getting closer and closer and closer. And she's just like, who is this guy? It's outside. Like, but it looks like it's really like close by. But it's outside and it's raining. He's just getting, he's just standing there. And I guess she turns around and he's right there. <laughs> the whole time it was a reflection. <gasps> oh no. Yeah. So she's an idiot. <laughs> is this a is this is this a like something that happened to you? <laughs> and I thought she got kidnapped. There's so many holes in this story. She's gone. She's gone. So it wasn't a reflection? This is a story from like the late 1700s. Wow. Love that year. Love that year. <laughs> <laughs> when will my reflection show? You're talking about Mulan? Did you not? Ooh, dude, the whole time. Inside. The whole time it was a, the reflection of that person. Ah, oh, damn. She's so dumb. Like she's like, what the hell? Remember, floor to ceiling windows. Yeah. Turns floor around, to ceiling. Turns around and, dude, it was the whole time he was looking at her. Who? That guy. <laughs> the reflection? The guy's reflection. She thought it was outside, but it was actually right in back of there her. There is it no guy that was a reflection. It's that person reflecting. No, there was the, shadow. the guy that she was staring at. Uh huh. Was the reflection because he was in back of her. Oh my gosh. Holy shit. So he was standing be- behind her. Yes, you numb nuts. I thought it was a reflection off of like a shadow. I, I did not I, understand that story at all. I think it was the way you said it. You said it wrong. I said it correctly. <laughs> it was a reflection of the guy standing beside behind her. You need more than LASIK, brother. <laughs> I need some, I need some, I need to go to brain camp. <laughs> Scary story or not? No. Terrible story. The yeah. delivery was off, bro. You know what's sad about that? Yeah. Okay. So okay. Hold on. Hold on. Let me. Hold on. Hold on. So she's looking out to this window, and then she can't figure out where this guy's coming from. She can't really see him. Yeah. Right. And then it just she thinks clicks. It's some guy outside her house. It all clicks, and she realizes when she turns around that it was just a reflection of the guy who was standing beside her the whole time. Yeah. With a knife. Most likely. Ready to abduct her. Most likely. And then what happened? She's missing right now? She gone. <laughs> I don't know. This was in the late 1700s. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You Damn. didn't like the story or not? I thought the story was cool, bro. Yeah, it's a good okay, story. Okay, it's a fake story, but I'm getting into, like, writing scary stuff. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Keep keep going. Keep working on it. You're good, bro. You, Honestly, bro. One to yeah. ten. One to ten? I give it, like, a... Uh, and scary, like, ten being the ultimate scary. Like, I... I'm scared. Not ultimately, but like you were scared. Okay, all right. Ten is being scared. All right, cool. Bet, bet. Um, hmm. I'll, I'll give you three point four. 
So you weren't fucking scared at all? I was scared. I was a little confused, actually. <laughs> it would have been scary if it was dark in here. Yeah, that would have scared it up. Now we got a bright ass light, like pointing straight to my face. I just looked at it and I went blind for a second. <laughs> By the way, Josh wanted lights in here. I wanted lights because I think that this downward lighting, even Karen made a comment about it last time, bro. She's like, Yeah, and you this- fucking gained up on me. Yeah, I did because she was right and we needed a light. <laughs> And honestly, we're only using one light. We got two, but we just using one right now. Yeah. It's yeah. literally hey, just on Josh. Hey, you're over here talking here shit about go. me. Here you Here's no, a light. No, hell no. Shut the hell fuck no. up. <laughs> no, 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 no. you over here trying to make me look bad, but you like the light too. You were like, oh, I look good. No, it, 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 it makes a huge difference. <laughs> it does make a difference. Even looking at you, you look brighter. You look glowy. You look, dare I say, dewy. Oh, wow. Thank you. Yeah, dewy. You know what I got into recently? Sunscreen. Good, bro. Recently, dude, aren't you like 40? Do I look fucking 40? Yeah, because you don't use you because you just got into sunscreen. I've been using sunscreen coming out the womb. I said, y'all got some sunscreen? I don't think that's good for a baby. Maybe it wasn't out the womb. Maybe that was a bit of an exaggeration. Maybe it was like, you know, three years into my life. So I need some sunscreen. Okay, I can see a baby yeah. uh three year old wearing some sunscreen. Yeah, yeah. But I'm lighter than you too, bro. So my skin and my skin is very sensitive, so I burn up. I, I, you probably don't burn yeah, up. I, I, I get I can I can get it red. So Karen started putting me on um sunscreen, obviously of all the benefits. Yeah, tons. But I never wore it because I always felt like it's just like that white one that like doesn't mm-hmm. you just stay like looking like creamy. Yeah, you gotta really rub it in yeah, over yeah. and over and Bro, over. Bro, there's so many brands that don't do that. Bro, there's, <laughs> I didn't know that. There's <laughs> at all. <laughs> the more you know <laughs> so like now because you fuck with that blue that blue lotion it's like from nu, nu, neutrogena nu, nu, no neutrogena neutrogena i think yeah you talking about the hydration one oh, the hydra- oh yeah yes 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 it's neva i think it's called neva yeah that one i got you bro. that one's good that was good i like that, that one so really that's good. the one i rock with but now it's basically a rock one that gives me the same feel yeah but it protects me from the sun. I'm glad you're starting to wear sunscreen, bro, because it's very important, mm-hmm. right? You want to be protected from the sun. Yes. Because the sun can be very damaging, but also very healthy. It's kind of weird, right? It's like a mm-hmm. contrast, mm-hmm. double-edged sword. Also, it prevents wrinkles, man. I you know. know what I'm saying? And we're on the podcast, and we're going to be doing this for the, our whole life. I don't plan to ever stop doing this podcast. When we said every single Monday, I think I, I meant literally to the end of my days. To the end of my days. So, therefore, we need to be looking... Feed it, man, dog. I know. Firme, dog. Firme, dog. <laughs> Firme, dog. <laughs> Another question for you. Yeah, I have an answer. Are you into Botox? Uh, well, Brotox. Brotox. Uh, have you done it before? Don't me, fucking lie, dude. I, <laughs> me? No. <laughs> You've never done Botox? Uh, I have. I have. I actually got a brand deal from a Botox company called Disport. And bro, it, it it was pretty game changer, man. As I got older, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I've i noticed it. Like I got like, you know, I get like the little wrinkles right here and stuff like that. And this company hit me up. It was like, yo, we'd love to like sponsor you um, uh, for this whole for this whole Botox thing. It's called, it's not Botox because Botox is like a, its own brand, right? It's but called it's, Disport. It's, uh, it's like a form of Botox. I, 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 I think I've heard it's about It's like Band-Aid. That. You know how Band-Aid is like not the actual term of what that thing is? It's, yeah. just, a, it's just a name of the brand. Oh, for real? I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bandit, it's not, it's not what it's called. It's called something else. Like, I don't know what it's called, but it's called something else. Wow. But uh, Botox is like that. It's a brand. Botox is a brand. But they've done an amazing job at branding themselves oh, that shit. they uh, that people just consider any, any injections that you do that does that it's whole Botox. treatment. It's Botox. So anyways, Disport hit me up and was like, yo, we want to do this. And I was like, I've never done this before. So I was like, you know what? I, I've been thinking about it. I've been considering it. I'm not ashamed of it. I'm like, I'm, I'm like it. Let's see what's up. And then I went in, I had a great, great experience, bro. Like the girl uh, um, was phenomenal. She made me feel so great. She answered all my questions. Um, you, I told her, I was like, I, I don't want to lie. I don't want to feel like my face is like stuck. Yeah, I want to feel like I have movement. And she hooked me up and I feel like. But you don't feel it anymore. It, it wore off. I, I don't. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Clearly. Yeah. You can tell, you can see the wrinkles. I need some more sunscreen or I need to get some more bo- this port. This port. Man, this is not this is not sponsored, by the way. <laughs> did you just fucking shamelessly sponsor this Yeah, I kind of did, right? Dude, we got to bleep them out every time. <laughs> you got to pay me again, bro. <laughs> just sneaking Mr. This port, you better pay me again. Did you just sneak in a brand deal without me knowing? <laughs> Imagine, they're like, hey, we're going to pay you this much, but you got to sneak it in. Have you gotten Botox? We'll talk about that after the break. What break? We already had a break. We're going to take one more. No, we don't need to take another break. I need to go to the bathroom. Answer the question. I need to go to the bathroom. Who broke your heart? <laughs> I need to go to the bathroom because there's lenses on the toilet. Yeah, you got to. Contact lenses. You got you to gotta clean them up. 
Gotta clean them up. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm gonna do my whole podcast like this, flexing my arm. You think people will notice? <laughs> bro, you got some big ass arms, bro. Huh? You got big arms. Who? <laughs> Me? Oh, shoot. Yeah. <laughs> bro, I can't be taking pictures with you, like selfie pictures at the yeah. gym. Yeah. You make me look small, bro. Yeah, that's my favorite. You, 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 you've been told that, huh? You make people uh, look small. Okay, here, here's what I believe, bro. Everybody has like that one. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna speak for men specifically. Okay. We have like that one genetic body part that we're gifted in, right? Yeah. Mine happens to be my arms. You Is know it? what I'm saying? And it's, you? What's mine? I don't know if we're allowed to say. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Uh, if I had to say uh, your your uh, I'd say your uh, your shoulders, you got good shoulders. You think so? Yeah, and your arms too. Actually, you got good arms. I, have I just good got arms. freakishly big arms. You have huge arms. I'm a freak, baby. I told you. Damn. I've been telling you this. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> it's weird. I'm a freak, baby. I told you this. Don't look at me like that. It's weird. <laughs> My eyes going to. I have like... I had Botox before? Yes, I have. Bro, I didn't know this. I'm not gonna lie, you kind of caught me off guard when you asked me about the Botox thing. Yeah. And I'm gonna be real with you, part of me didn't want to really like confess that I got it before. Because, you know, I, I don't know, you know, there's this whole- There's nothing to be ashamed of. There, there is nothing, and then Botox. That's, that's what I'm saying. And then I was like, you know what, fuck it, fuck it. Bro, everybody gets Botox. So tell me about your Botox experience. I'm and not I, saying go get Botox either. I'm not saying that either. Yeah. But I've gone Botox But if you want to look really good. I, want, I, I tried it. <laughs> And I used to be like, I don't want to get Botox. That's like for girls. No, don't. No, it's not for girls. No, Which, not at all. Not at all. It's for everybody. Yeah, it's for everybody. Um, but what? No, I. When's when? When'd you get it? I've I've. It's. I think the first time I got it was like four years ago. Oh shit! Oh yeah, it's, it's been a thing. Wow, bro. Can but I, I tell you? I don't can get I tell it like you crazy. I feel like we we've been we've known each other for like what six plus years, right? Yeah. But I feel like I, I'm not saying I noticed, but I have felt that your skin looks incredible well first of all i have incredible skin you do and that makes me very very jealous why are you so quiet why are you making this weird? i don't know what to say about that <laughs> you're like you, I don't, you, I you looked at it. me you looked at me like you should be bitch you should be jealous. i don't know what to say like thank you i hate people with good skin ah uh, there i said it i hate people with good skin <laughs> it makes me so jealous anyways go ahead with your perfect skin <laughs> 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 um did you, you know, ever have acne you ever had a pimple maybe when i was like 12 13 i started like breaking out a little bit but like i hate this other, guy. other than that i don't i've never really you know it's crazy karen is a huge skincare she has phenomenal skin both y'all both y'all your guys's babies are gonna have great skin yeah i'm god damn. hopefully they are dude they are because uh yeah yeah both y'all but does she have acne when she was younger i I didn't know her when she was that young. Gotcha. Like teen, you didn't know, huh? I didn't know her. Gotcha. But I haven't even asked her because she always has good skin. But she has she has more breakouts than me, I think. But and I feel like Karen's like on her like routine, her skin routine. Like, I'm talking about she don't miss. Guys, I'm talking about like appointments, Exfoliate. Exfoliate. like like not just like at home. Like she oh. goes to a dermatologist or I think that's what they're called. No, they're called estheticians. 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 Come on, bro. I know what's up. I have bad skin. I know this stuff. <laughs> My bad. Yeah. Estheticians. I got a muscle. You, you, you should go to I already have. Girl. I already have. Oh, actually, yeah. Actually, I would love that. Dude, Sorry. She's I would love like that. supposedly best in the best in the business. Yeah, tell her hook me up. Um. But anyways, going back to Botox, I didn't really like it. What? Did you do Botox or Discord? I'm a, I'm a man of a lot of expressions. And I felt like I couldn't express myself. Facially. Facially. <laughs> and I don't know if it's because maybe I got too much that time. I don't uh, know if it's because I just don't like the feeling. Because I really don't like the feeling of like. You could feel it? I didn't feel mine. Like you're, you felt like the restriction in your face? Yes. Oh, bro, I didn't feel that. But I, I made it a point to tell her like, yeah, I, I, I want to be able to have full movement. Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, maybe this sport's better. Wait, this sport? This sport, yeah. yeah. This sport, yeah. I mean, I had a great experience with this sport, man. Yeah. You, should, you should check it out. But you don't need it right now, though, dude. Your face is like, you're well, a Barbie. You know what I'm Ken? Oh, yeah. Get some Botox. <laughs> I'm a little wrinkly in the forehead, and I just realized that, that I'm getting a little bit more wrinkly. How am I? I think you're average. I'm not average, bro. The average wrinkles. <laughs> 
So I think I'm gonna give, give me a big smile. Big smile. Big smile. Smile. Big big. Big smile. <laughs> smile big, dude. Smile big. Big smile. <laughs> oh yeah, you're good. You have no more wrinkles, smile. So my, I think mine are deeper. I think my my look at mine. You know what I hate that we that us humans get? This. Oh yeah. Yeah. You can get Botox right there too, though, no? Your mustache covers it nicely though. Do you know how they say like uh, a, a beard is a man's makeup? Is like yeah. a, contours your Which face? Is, it's kind of true. Yeah, for you, I could really see that it does that. Yeah. Not saying you have an ugly face, because I think you actually have a very handsome face. Well, thank you. But um, your beard is a, is, you have a good beard. Good You'll beard, never man. see me with that one. Ever. Ever? No. The last time I had clean shave, maybe I was What if this podcast 17. gets 100,000 likes when you shave your beard? 100,000, bro. 100,000. Why are you even thinking about it, bro? Come on, man. We got we got to get our views up, boy. I know, but like once we get like the views up and all the likes and no, everything, no, within six months. No, no, no. Starting like like if this video gets a hundred thousand likes, yeah. And once I see that, and then once I shave my beard completely, like you're talking about bicking it, right? Like with a with a razor. Yes. Yes. I'll be looking at myself and I'll be like, yeah, I'm, I have a hundred thousand views on a video, or I'm I'm sorry, likes, likes. on a video, but. God damn, I'm ugly. <laughs> but I got 100,000 likes. <laughs> uh, but I was going to say something about the beard before I forget, bro. Uh, you got a good beard. Are you going to do Botox again? Yeah, I want to. Okay. I think maybe. Let's go I, together. We should vlog it. I'm down. Botox boys. I'm down. Yeah. We can maybe even put it on the podcast, like first little, hey guys, welcome to the yeah, podcast. We'll do like but, a little vlog part. Right before we start, remember we were going to vlog it? Yeah. Here's five minutes. Yeah enjoy yeah yeah couple uh like a minute of elevator music yeah nice little title and then boom the video and then we're back on the room boys got botox i'm down dude i'm with it maybe i just need to find the right person to actually do it with go with my girl i don't like to be so go with my girl i don't like to be so stuck you're not gonna be stuck bro you gotta get the this part because there's sometimes where i'm like this like really yeah i'm like mm. damn rock to rock hard just like you can't see whether I'm happy or mad. Damn. I want a soda. <laughs> Damn. You know what, bro? I'm going to, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm glad that we talked about this because I didn't know that about you. I, and I, this is our second podcast in, and I've already learned so much about you. You blind and you get Botox. Yes. <laughs> I'm blind. <laughs> I get Botox too. <laughs> we want them the same, baby. We want them the same. <laughs> Imagine a year from now, all this thing, all the things you're going to know about me. Wow. Bro, we're going to do this podcast for a long time, right? Ask them. I want to do this for a long time. Even if nobody listens to us, man. Even if it's just you and me listening to each other. Oh. <laughs> Why you wear all that jewelry, bro? Oh. Yo, who, are you trying to, who are you trying to show out for, boy? You over here blinging out. That's what you get. Did you see that? Do you have veneers, too? No, I don't. You're going to crack your veneers. But I know a good doctor in Guadalajara that hooks it up. He gets down? He gets down. I was thinking yeah. about it. I love my teeth. Don't get veneers. I love my teeth. Bro, you have great teeth. The only reason why I'll get veneers is to just have white teeth, like white, white. Bro, you could just get them like bleached or whatever, whatever they do. Really? Yeah. It's, it's kind of painful though. It hurts because your teeth become overly sensitive, bro. And then Forever? Kind of, <clears throat> no, 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 no. For like a limit, like maybe about a week or so. But then also, I know you drink coffee and I know you like that red wine. A lot. We wanted the same. Yeah. This is me talking to me. Yeah. You can't, you want to like limit yourself on that because that's what stains your teeth. Any kind of coloring drinks stain your stain your teeth, Got especially it. especially coffee and, and yeah. red wine. So. Damn. Maybe give an ears. <laughs> what a great second episode with you. Bro, that was such a fun, it flew. This episode flew. It all flies. And we actually had topics. We didn't even get through all the topics. Nah. Yeah. We're Next good. time. I Oh, wait, hold on. Before, uh, before we, yeah, because it's our second episode, uh -huh. Um, we actually have two guests coming next week that I we are about to say that. both so excited about. We actually were supposed to have the guests for this podcast, but they had to reschedule, uh, which is fine because this is like, this is this is good. You know, we're kind of getting the swing of tell things. Tell them, Josh. I love that you're telling them right now. Getting, Talk to them, the baby. Things. Talk to them as the host. So, so He's next being week, such a host right now. <laughs> so next week, we're actually going to be having two Chill incredible and incredible guests that we cannot wait for you guys to, to see. And uh, we're so excited. So this episode is live on Monday, right? We're actually shooting the first guest on Tuesday. And they're going to be incredible. Um, we haven't shot it yet. And I know it's going to be a banger. And then the next guest that we have that we are super hyped for as well. 
guests. What am I saying? What am I saying? What am I saying? Guests. Yes. I got a little bit of a lift, man. And I talk like gangsters. So sometimes you can't understand what I'm saying. You feel me, though? You feel me? I know you can't feel me right now, but one day you will be, too. Uh, <laughs> uh, then we're shooting. So we're shooting two guests next week. And I'm so excited about them. I'm so, I'm, I cannot wait. I me cannot too. wait. Me too. And literally, Sevas and I, this week, which technically would be last week, Dr. Strange. Dr. Strange. <laughs> Dr. Strange. Um, we, we, we got together and we worked on, you know, some uh, questions, some, some little uh, fun, Really nailing down the bits. show. Yeah, we're like really, really nailing, nailing down, down the show. show. And I'm really excited for you guys to see what we're putting together here because we are, we're, we're putting together something special. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, yeah, man, I'm, I'm hyped. This is going to be Me good. Me too. I look at those notes, like, since we wrote them, I look at them like. And you guys are going to, you guys are going to love them. It's, it, it, it's going to be a, two good episodes coming Don't next week. Them. We're filming twice next week. Yeah. Um, set your and, reminders set your alarms because yeah. it's going down can do they, can does YouTube do like the whole notification yeah, they have, thing yeah they have reminders and if not put it on your phone put it on your phone dear Siri set an alarm <laughs> for uh, La Platica 7am PST or 10am ET Eastern Time yep you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. very excited um, so technically there's four guests coming yeah four and we're filming twice next week and honestly by monday we're probably gonna have more guests by next week yeah the following week yeah um so we're gonna be loaded a, up with a, guests a lot of exciting things i'm like i said la on last uh episode super motivated right now i'm hyped and we just we just killing it this is what you call killing the game right here if y'all didn't know what this was it's called killing the game <laughs> if y'all didn't know what this was <laughs> so guys we about to go to uh we about to go eat. I'm hungry, dog. And uh, feed me. Back at home, you guys watching, whether you're on your phone right now, whether you're on your iPhone 11, iPhone 12, iPhone 6. Hey, by the way, I love it when people send us uh, videos, like stories of them watching us on their TV. They put us on the big screen. I said, damn, that looks is it, good. Isn't that a trip? Dude, it's, it's, yeah, it is. It's super trippy. It's, oh, God, it feels so good. Like, like, like for us, think about it. Like for us, we're seeing ourselves on a, on a TV, right? Yeah. But it's it's like a YouTube. We know it's YouTube, right? Obviously. Mm -hmm. But for somebody else who's a different generation than us, like our mom or somebody around, you know? Feels like Nick at night. It feels like Fox 11. <laughs> Doesn't it? It does, bro. So they're that's like, just like, they're oh, like, they're, watch the TV? they're watching on YouTube. Yeah. But like, if my mom sees it, she's probably like, what are you watching? Mira, Where's this on? Yeah. Tele. He made it. Yeah, so that's yeah. that's that, that's it's dope. dope, and that's why I think it's dope. I think it's so dope, bro. I think I agree. I agree. Yeah, and it is dope. You know? Yeah, we're on TV, baby. Well, well, because bro, like it's so easy just to watch something on your phone, yeah. but for somebody to go out of their way to put it on their TV and stuff like that, just that's 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 meaningful, bro. Super meaningful. Yeah. Un beso. Yeah. If you besito. Un beso for the people that watch it on their TV. And a hug for the, for the phone. Get in here. Give me give me a tight squeezy. Hug. Get in here, dog. Get in here, dog. Get in here, dog. Yeah. So yeah, we got to do a meet and greet. I know. Sorry, I'm I'm on a tangent. Oh, like, I'm talk about now. talk about so, meet and greet. Yeah, because I like to do those like twice a year. We got to do it. Uh, I am actually meaning to talk to you about that. Like planning one like summer vibes, pool party, pool party summer vibes. I don't know what it's gonna be. Damn. I'll plan it. Yeah. I know how to plan it. You do. You're a party planner. Um, we'll let you guys know because there's nothing more important. All this right here is all cool, but what really matters is actually meeting you guys. Hundred percent. And just catching that vibe. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like, yeah, we on your TV. <laughs> but I want to see you. <laughs> now you can see me and feel me. And I'm gonna give you a soda. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna come stack with soda. We're the stack, soda boys. Stack. Soda boys. You're gonna see us Botoxed out, sodaed out. We're gonna be <laughs> gleaming. They're gonna be like, wow, it looks so pretty. <laughs> I'm so happy, you just can't tell. You can't. <laughs> oh, and I'm, I'm really excited to see you. You just can't tell. <laughs> by then, by when we do the me and greet, mm -hmm. I'll be able to see. Wow. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. I didn't man. know that part. I can see all the obstacles in my way. You have a majestic voice, Josh. I didn't want to say it, but I'm glad you did because uh Stop flexing. Who, me? Chill out. <laughs> hey, can you get a close-up on this? Can you get a close-up on no. this? No. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Los amo. Los amo. Un abrazo. Y nos vemos en la próxima plática. Hit it! Estás escuchando la plática. Now the other one.
Hey, 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 hey. All right, cut it. We got to go eat. <laughs> Let's go. You guys have a great day. And remember, stay positive. Wow. Yeah.